A miscarriage or pregnancy loss is far more common than you might think, but it's not something we talk about very much. That's why the couple you're about to meet are speaking out to raise awareness about this devastating reality and to encourage others to take part in the Healing Hearts Run next month. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Oh. Six-year-old Phoenix loves to play. Outer space for you, mister. And after his parents suffered unimaginable heartbreak during their first pregnancy, this beautiful boy is their rainbow baby. We were really surprised when about midway through at 20 weeks, we got a really challenging diagnosis and ended up having our son at 21 weeks. He was still born. I just went numb. I was absolutely heartbroken. It's kind of really hard to fully explain the severity and the depth that really goes through your mind. Jesse and Elena, thinking they were safely in their second trimester, were totally unprepared for the devastating loss. At the end of the first trimester, we started sharing it with people. We told our employers, we started building our nursery, picking out baby names, doing all the things that you do when you think you're now in that safe period. But that's what really rocked our world, is learning that there is no safe period in pregnancy. I started to bleed very heavily. And Even though one in four experience a miscarriage or pregnancy loss, we don't talk about it very much, which makes telling people even harder. We say somebody lost a baby, but I didn't lose a baby. I labored and delivered and gave birth to a baby, and I held a baby, and I named him, and I had to leave him at the hospital. Mourning their son, Haven, Elena and Jesse found support through the Healing Hearts Foundation, now the Pacific Perinatal Foundation. Vancouver Island's first and only nonprofit dedicated to helping people through pregnancy and infant loss. For us, when we came through it, we couldn't imagine what it would be like going through that without that kind of support. So it really inspired us to get involved in the foundation and start to give back that way. The second annual Healing Hearts Run on September 23rd will help raise money for the foundation so no one has to suffer in silence. So it's tough and, and it's sort of tough thing that, that is easily swept under the carpet. And I, and I think that's kind of how it's looked at. Um, well, at least it has been looked at for for decades. I want to see how fast you can go down that slide. By sharing their story and helping to reduce the stigma, Elena and Jesse are honoring Haven by helping other bereaved parents. It's definitely forever changed our life and, um, you know, kind of gave us purpose within the community to help others as best we can. How fast was that? Was oh, fast pretty fast. Go? There's so many people that I've met over the course of the last seven years since my loss who have come to me and they may have had losses 40 years ago or four months ago. And when they feel like they are held and they are safe to share their stories and be honored and validated, that's very powerful and meaningful to me. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.